We're all fighting a battle within, disguising lies as fucking truth. You, you're special. They don't know like you do. You ain't gotta hear nobody. And we disguise our painful truths as fucking lies. All you are, and all you love, will one day be gone. We envision an angel on one shoulder guiding us to righteousness and a devil on the other side tempting us to sin. If it were only that fucking simple. It's you, man. You're the shit. Fuck everyone else. Your reality is illusory. Feel deeper. Fuck all that. You've got belief. And that's more than enough. Belief implies doubt. Why are you lying to yourself? Eventually, we start to challenge those pretty little lies, and they get fucking nasty because thoughts just want to be thunk. You know what? They're right. You're not good enough. You really are a piece of shit. But if we persevere, we'll start paying closer attention to those difficult truths. Listen. We all fear annihilation, but if you can embrace that fear, you will transcend it. Don't listen to that pussy, hear me. You are me, fucker, I own you. You are not your thoughts, nor am I you. You need to choose between reaction and conscious action. Face me. We are not our fucking thoughts, but we will only come to know that which we are if we observe thought and stare at those hard fucking truths until our higher psychological functioning gives us a bit of tough love. Look at all this shit in your head. It's not the problem. The problem is you identify with it. Your memories, a daisy chain linked by bits of ego. Let's get out of your head for a bit. This is the battle we fight, and it's not yet about picking a side. It's about getting out of our head and draining our attention into our meat tractor, observing both our lower and higher nature fully and letting them both be exactly what they are. Let them come, let them go. This is a battle for awakening consciousness. Meditation, medicine, and practice itself is a reflection of this battle. We are the thinker within which thoughts occur. Thoughts are clouds in the empty but wakeful sky of mind. Through the process of knowing thy fucking self, a deeper and more epic battle will take place. The battle between instinct and intellect, between unconscious reaction and conscious choice, between the evolutionary product who seeks resources and run from threats and the evolving being whose very beingness is unfolding upon itself in a cognizant, ineffable fractal that acts as an aperture for a great wakeful emptiness to peer through to know every iteration of what it's not, but of course, is what it already is. Wait, was that a fish? The fuck? Anyway, I'm talking about you, boo, and through cultured aspiration and perseverance and rooting for your higher functioning, that which is conducive to waking the fuck up will kick the ass of that which wants to remain asleep. Let me take a chainsaw, though. Just saying. Here's the pickle, though. The substratum of reality cannot be spoken of. It cannot be contained by words in the same way that we create a cup fashioned of thought with which to foolishly try to hold the entire ocean of awareness. The vast sea of existence is what we're perpetually moving through as waves who briefly crest in a singular conscious glory as a salient and saline amnesiac, and our thought cup becomes filled with a bit of that truth, and then we try to dump it on every motherfucker we come across. It's a thing. I found the way. I found the light. Don't waste your water, people. Keep your mouth closed closed and your mind wet or all you'll have is an empty thought cup. Duh. Hear me carefully as you dive into the mystery and uncover awareness as you expose primordial existence, the core of your experience. Don't let me steal it because have no doubt, I will. And you'll again be trapped and identified with an echo of the truth. I mean, after all. It's my job. It's about awareness. First, awareness of thought, because to be aware of thought, you have to step behind thought into your true nature, and then spontaneous awareness of awareness. Pick your path. Meditation, plant medicine, yoga, frog licking, spinning till you fall on your ass. I don't give a shit what you do. Just do whatever the fuck gets you there. But don't become trapped by methods. Once you've crossed the river of mind, you don't need to constantly drag a fucking canoe through the damn forest, so don't be a dumbass. And don't forget... Within the meat sack you call you, I am just a strip of moving film, but you are the light required to shine through, to project the movie that is your life. Don't get a big head, but also seek out the omnipresent miracle embedded in each moment. Today's public consciousness announcement was brought to you by Farm Boy Slim, Rusty Eyeball, Electricity, and now, it's all about you, Toodaloo. Oh, and remember, the most important thing we know is we don't know. We don't
don't know. We 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 don't know. I'll see you in your mind. Just like.